A local organization is trying hard to finish building and fixing homes around the Tri-Cities before the winter weather rolls in. News Channel 11's Micah Smith joins us live in Johnson City with details on Appalachia Service Project's efforts to help those in need. Good morning, Micah. Good morning, Casey. I know it's dark outside and you may not be able to see much, but I am at the location of one of the homes that the Appalachian Service Project is hoping to complete by winter. Right now, there's just a foundation, but with the help of volunteers, very soon, this will be someone's new home. There's a major difference in the home sitting on this piece of land now and the house that once stood here. It was falling in, the roof leaked in every room. The floors were given in. After nearly falling through the floor of her house, Kimberly Heiser says she knew she needed help. Heiser called the Appalachia Service Project, or ASP, and within months, work began on her new home. We, uh, we tore it down uh, end of September and started building it early October. ASP head of new build Will Crumley says they thought about repairing the home, but it cost more to fix it than replace it completely. Now ASP volunteers are hard at work, trying to finish Heiser's home and several others before the winter weather hits. Really this time of year there's a great need for volunteers because whatever projects that we're working on, we have to get them buttoned up and finished before the really cold weather comes in. In Tennessee, ASP has five new homes under construction. We have two right in Johnson City, two over in Carter County, and one actually out in Hancock County. They are also repairing 25 to 30 homes throughout central Appalachia, and volunteers provide the labor. This house was framed by a group from Connecticut. Um, ETSU students have worked on this house, uh, the local Science Hill Rotary Interact Club. Crumley says they could always use more help, especially while trying to finish homes before the temperature drops. Sometimes it's 75 and great, and other times it's snowing. Uh, like last year, we built one in the snow. ASP has been my miracle from God. Crumley says their goal is to complete as many homes as they can by December so that homeowners like Heiser can have a safe environment to live in throughout the harsh winter months and all year long. The Appalachia Service Project hopes to finish up all the homes by the second week of December. ASP says they would love as much volunteer help as possible so that they can meet that goal. Reporting live in Johnson City, Micah Smith, News Channel 11 in your